Hey guys, it's Chancy. Captain Britt. Happy Halloween. We just wanted to give y'all guys a quick update. This weekend I started the progesterone, so I videoed it this morning to show y'all guys, um, and I'll show y'all that here. Okay guys, so here's my progesterone. It's really, really thick, so I'm gonna use this sock full of rice, and I'm gonna wrap it around and warm it up to where it makes it easier to draw up. Also, I'll use the same sock in a little while once I do the shot and it'll just help um, make the progesterone like thin underneath my skin so that it doesn't knot up or anything, hopefully. I also always have my bandaid ready. Oh. I need to use this alcohol wipe to just wipe off the top of this because we reuse it and dust and those good things when you get on it. All right, and these needles, this one is, it's the same length as these. These are just a little bit thinner, but this one has, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be any way you can see that, but this one has like a draw up end. There's a thing. Oh, actually. I just watched a video that told me to go in at a 45 degree angle and then straighten it because if you don't, this little rubber cap, I guess, can break off into the solution and contaminate it. So let's see. In and straighten. Seems like it would make it worse. You turn it. Oh gosh, Maybe. Let's see. And then I was also told to make sure I pull this back because some of the solution gets stuck in the needle before you change the needles. This needle goes back on. And I got my next needle. I'm ready. I did do a video of actually doing the shot itself, um, but first I'll show you what my doctor did. They actually put circles on the my back, kind of between my tush and my love handles, and they actually sharpied circles so that we would know where to put them. And for the first time, my husband has been doing it, so I'll let him explain how he does it. Yes, so how do we administer the shot? Here's the shot here, it does not come preloaded. My gorgeous wife, she takes it out of the vial, extracts, fills it to the necessary levels, and then she's, what, what the doctor has suggested is, and this is not the, the shot area by any means, but what you wanna do is instead of pinching and, and getting it like this for the, some of the previous shots, injections, you wanna like, like uh, pull it apart, pull the skin apart. Okay. So yeah, and then uh, in fairly long needle, I don't know, inch and a half maybe, pop that sucker right in there and then push. I would highly suggest that you uh, use these little, this little T section here, put your fingers on that because it's like concrete, like this stuff is really thick. And he so says it, it's really hard to come out. We ended up yeah. ordering one of the- um, Self injectors. Self, self injectors for like nights that he's not able to help me, or mornings, sorry, not nights. Um, right now my doctor wants me to do it between seven and nine, and then after transfer, I can kind of go to seven to 10. Uh, we're doing it like at seven right now because on work days, I'm gonna have to leave by like four work before. And if I need help, I gotta do it before I leave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, everybody. It's early. Why is it coming out? I don't think that's what's happening. Okay. Well, when you 
ready. Oh yeah, put weight on the sled. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Yep. This is thick. You doing okay? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Hold up. Go push it. All in. Give me a sec. This one is weird. That's it. Oh. You're bleeding? Nope. Here we go. One thing I failed to mention was whenever he does the shot, the doctor did say that you want to go like in a dart-like motion, put the shot in very, very quickly. Once it's in, then you do the solution. That'll take a while. But the actual like initial like needle going into the skin, you do want to do it very quickly. Also, Ahoy. I heard heat is your best friend. So you want to heat the vial before and you also want to heat your like actual back afterwards to allow the solution to spread because it is like a thick syrup style solution. Like I guess you might not be able to tell in here, but it's very, very, very thick. And you use a sock. And so, well, you can use a heating pad, whatnot. I did use, I put uh, white rice in a sock and I tied it up and I've been using that for heat and it works great. And I use that for to heat the vial and also to heat my back afterwards. And it just works out for me. It's a good so scene. that's pretty much it as far as the progesterone shots. I was going to let y'all guys know I've been, um, I had three scheduled appointments for just to check my lining um, up until this point. And at the first two appointments, I was actually behind. My lining was measuring too thin and they weren't sure that I was going to get there. Um, I Googled a bunch of ways to naturally thicken your lining and I did find um, some little tips to do and I tried them all so I figured I'd share because whatever it was helped. So first off, the main thing that everybody suggests is pomegranate juice and I hope you like this stuff because this one cost us like 13 something dollars and I did not like it. It was gross but I drank it and I... A lot of people will say drink make sure you drink it twice a day I saw some that said make sure you drink it once a day I just drank a cup a day and like a kind of large cup a day and it worked also I mixed in a lot of people said to get vitamin E I made sure to include that every single day I just took one and these were how many 268 milligrams and then I also heard about this one, which is L-Arginine, I believe is how you pronounce it. And this was a thousand milligrams and I took one every single day. And between these three, I went from a 5.46, I believe is, is what it was, to a 8.2 in like four days. So it was a very, very big jump and I was in the clear. Now I'm all the way up to, now I'm all the way up to, um, what was my final? 10.3. So just a week on all three of these made it go from five, doubled my number. It was amazing. Also, um, so doctors want to see you at at least an eight most of the time or they won't be able to go ahead with the transfer. So for me, I was freaking out at that five and just in that four days, whenever I made it to 8.2, that was a big step because that officially meant that we did get to do the November 4th transfer date which 
from today is in four days. I'm super, super excited. Well, thank you all. We will continue to keep you updated. Um, the next time you hear from us will probably be um, our transfer day. So good luck out there and thank you for following. Bye.